It's still wet out here. It's drippy. Rainy. It's about a quarter after three in the morning. Sunday morning. I'm concerned about the kitties. If they're actually homeless because, well, White Devil's Night is coming up. I didn't put all the food out there because it's wet and it's just going to get soaked before they get to it. They won't eat it if it's soaked. I put some out there in case some come right away. surviving if I can minister to the baby ones then maybe intervention can happen to stop an influx of feral kitties So there's a breeder kitty, if it's not somebody's cat, it's highly possible that those kitties belong to them people over there and they let them out in the daytime and that's why we've seen them. But it's also possible that they don't even know they're there. It's highly possible that they know they're there and they're feeding them too. Maybe letting them in their garage or something or put a little shelter out for him. Who knows? This is a moment that when I do stuff like this, that's hands of God stuff. I'm in constant prayer mode to involve God in it and the angels. And then it's my prayer it's for the animals. Because the animals really got it hard with this final generation. So I pray for the animals and for these kitties across the street that they are not homeless. I'm calling them not homeless, that they're loved. I'm calling all the animals of the world loved and housed. That's what we need. We need for them to be loved and housed. So Lord, can you make that happen? Does he stand here and smoke a little off this rocket with you? And again, I'm grateful. Because I had it way better than I deserved it physically, although psychologically and mentally it was torture. I could have paid physically too. I'm starting to pay physically now. I'm starting to handle well, the physical stuff starting to catch up to me. The inactivity. Things that I used to do, I don't do anymore. Now my body's starting to show it. So, who knows how much longer I've got, right? This latest thing I'm battling could actually be a blood clot. And relief from the pain could be when the blood clot moves and it's only going to be a momentary relief of pain before the blood clot
o'clock moves to a more deadly area. Now you see. <coughs> that could be where I'm at now. Where it's just it's ticking down to when that blood clot moves. I don't know. I haven't been to the doctor about this problem. It's raining out here. I thought the rain stopped, so I got everything together and got all dressed. And come out here and go crawl around in the bushes to feed them kitties. As well, you know, I don't know if anybody else is going to feed them. And I don't know, I just can't. I can't sleep with the thought that there's something that close that was starving that I could have put a little food out for it, you know? You know what I'm saying? That's one of them things where I have evolved from what I was where I could just ignore shit. Now I can't ignore it anymore. And then you look back at all them years, all the entities that you let down because you did ignore it. And you're plagued with that, that that's what you were. You know? And that's what a lot of this generation will face if they actually, if the Lord tarries. It's just the awakening, the epiphany, when they do grow up beyond the programming those who will become deprogrammed just from growing up, you know. Suddenly the things that they thought they wanted don't mean nothing. The things that meant everything to them mean nothing. The things that meant nothing to them suddenly mean everything, you know. It's like their minds get twisted around a proper mentality. And then they're surrounded by people that have all that fucked up mentality, so then they're really fucked. That's where I was at. You evolve and you take it for granted that the world around you is evolving too and it's not. Your friends and family are evolving, but they're not. Nobody's seeing things the way you're seeing them. You're suddenly starting to see things differently. But they're seeing things the same way they've always seen them. starts looking different to you then. So Lord, we pray for these kitties. That you'll love them and send angels. That you'll send angels for the animals. Just gauge the brainwaves of the humans and any humans that would dare think to hurt an animal. Just go ahead and preemptively strike them kill them somehow before they can hurt an animal. Because, you know, the animals didn't sow no evil seed. And how dare we keep letting subhumans be controlled by subspirits to make God a liar in his own turf. That they have to reap that harvest for what they didn't sow. None of you would want that. To get born as one of them animals that's being neglected, deprived of a home and love, a family. I know I wouldn't want it, even though I've been that animal, homeless with no friends or family, no one to turn to having to figure out how to survive. I've been there. And I sure hate to think of little animals being in that position.
especially little baby kitties and puppy dogs and shit. I'd like to think that the Spirit of God will go forth eventually upon all humans and make them start reaching out with hands of love instead of laying hands of hate for the animals, at least, even if they can't do it to each other, at least do it to the animals, you know? That's my prayer tonight. Lord, and it's all my gratitude, because I really have had it better than I deserved it. Even in my position right now, it's still better than I deserved it. For people out and about. scraped up by next summer. Yeah. And dragging and plows on it.
Lincoln Studio. Online at GatorFordLincoln.com. <laughs> They're right back. Uh, me. River City. And in 103.7 W279CC Alpina. Taylor, WJOG 91.3, Good Heart, Potosky, WAIR 104.9. We're looking at them. Ooh, I want to go look at them. Me too. Let's go. Yeah, Let's go look. Get out of there. Come on. He's doing a leany walk. The leany walk gets him where he wants to go. Okay. Can't even see mommy, huh? She's down there, though. I can see her moving. What is this a tree? It's a tree. Okay. It's a tree, big tall tree. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. Come on. He's like, I'm doing a leaning walk. I want to go over here. There's that thing hanging in the sky. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. And how it just hangs out there for so long. In the same spot. You can see it's not outside of our atmosphere. It's, it's, it's well inside our atmosphere. It's just sitting there, though. It just sits there in the sky. Like doodly doodly do. Laws of gravity don't apply to me. Yeah, you can't focus in on it. It starts changing colors. Come on, dickhead. Come on. What are you getting into? Come on. That's bad.
kind of dark. It's Sunday night. Or the Be alive. 